Hi everyone and welcome to your live Express Whole Body Workout. We have an awesome program today, let's get straight into it. We're going to lie down on our back for our first exercise abdominal curl. Our back is imprinted, our legs are in tabletop and our hands are going to be behind our head with our elbows wide. We're going to T-zone tight, exhale, curl up, eyes up towards the knees and inhale, lower the body back down. So let's exhale, curl up, and inhale, lower. Excellent work, guys. Let's continue on with this movement. Really trying to use your abs to lift your upper body up. Drawing your ribs down towards your hips, and not poking your head forward or pushing with your hands. Excellent work, everyone. To make this a little bit harder, you can curl up a little bit higher. You can hold at the top of your curl, or to make it a bit easier, do small little baby curls, just like this. Well done, guys. If this position with your arms is not comfortable for your body, you're more than welcome to extend your arms up towards the ceiling and curl up just like this. Beautiful work, everyone. You're doing so well. I'm sure those abs are starting to warm up. Excellent job. So exhale to curl and reach, and inhale to lower. Exhale to curl and reach, and inhale to lower. Good, guys. Making sure that our knees aren't coming towards our chest, or that they're going away from our body when we're curling. So nice 90 degree angle position with your knees. Beautiful work, guys. We haven't got long to go here. Just 20 seconds remaining. So let's make these last few curls count. Lift up with your upper body, using your abs, Ribs drawn down towards the hips, you're doing well. We've got 10 seconds remaining, guys. Let's push through that muscle discomfort. Well done. One more, and rest. We're going straight into Nutcracker. So let's overlap the hands, just like this, fingertips pointing towards the ceiling. We're going to exhale to curl up. Reach the hands through the legs, and inhale to lower back down. Let's repeat that. So exhale to curl and lift, and inhale to lower. Beautiful work, guys. You're doing so well here. Make sure you're using your abs to curl you up. You're not rounding your shoulders. You're not lifting your tailbone. That's the way. Reaching as far through your legs as you possibly can. Beautiful work. Now to make this one harder, we can extend the legs as we curl. And we can even hold up the top just like this. Otherwise, guys, you can continue on just reaching through your legs. Excellent work. Let's make sure we're lifting our head and shoulders up as high as we possibly can. Really using those abs. Excellent work, everyone. You've got 45 seconds to go. That's not long. Make those abs work as hard as you possibly can. Well done, team. Make sure the shoulders are staying down and back. The abs are drawn, ribs are drawn down towards the hips. You're doing a fantastic job. Well done. All right, guys, now that we've only got 20 seconds to go, let's lift up and stretch our legs. Good. Doing so well, guys. Reach as far forward as you can, drawing the shoulders down and back and lifting the head and shoulders. Good. All right, last two curls. And last one. And rest. Excellent job, guys. We're going into double leg stretch. So we're gonna separate our hands, point the fingertips towards the ceiling. Well done. We're gonna exhale to curl up. We're going to inhale, bring our fingertips towards the ceiling. Exhale as we go around, and sweep the hands back to the side body. So lift on the inhale, exhale out to the side, and sweep round towards the side body. Well done, guys. We're going to do this three times and then reset the head and the shoulders back down. Awesome work. So exhale, curl, inhale, lift, out to the side and sweep round to the side body. Well done. Doing so good, guys. The abs are starting to burn off. That's excellent. That's exactly what you want. Let's do one more. And return the body. All right, we're doing good, guys. Make sure that we're really keeping that bottom 
down on the carriage, on the mat, sorry. And we're using our abs to lift our head and shoulders up as high as we can. Excellent work. Now, if you feel any pain or discomfort through your neck, you can simply place one hand behind your head like this and continue on with the arm movements. If your back is starting to arch or your um, ribs are starting to flare out, simply flatten out your back on the mat again and bring your legs back to tabletop position. Doing really well, guys. Last one. And rest. Woo, fantastic. Let's roll over onto our side now for an exercise called double leg lift, working the side of the waist. So extend the underneath arm out long. Body in one straight line. Top hand on the floor in front. We're going to squeeze the side body and exhale to curl up and inhale to lower. Exhale to curl and inhale to lower. Fantastic job guys, you're off to a great start here. Let's really focus on squeezing the top side of your waist to lift your legs and your body. Good, well done. Shoulders down and back. Abs strong and try and keep your body in a stacked position. So we don't want to see the stomach bulging out, the legs poking back. Just lifting your whole body as one. Really using the top side of your waist. Excellent work guys, doing really well. To make this harder, you can place your arm on the top side of your body and straighten your arm right down towards your knee. Just like that. Awesome work guys. This is a little bit harder to balance in this position, so you really have to think about using your T-zone, keeping your abs on really strong, and focusing on that rib tip connection, squeezing through the top side of your waist. Excellent, guys. 20 more seconds to go. So let's hold up the top here and start doing some little beats. Keep that top leg nice and still. Just lift and lower that underneath leg. Guys, you're doing so well. So many parts of your body are working to do this movement. It's a fantastic functional movement. And rest. Excellent. Let's swap over to the other side and work the other side. So extend the top arm out long. Head resting down the bicep and legs stacked. Hand in front to balance if you need. Otherwise, to make it harder, place your hand on your top hip. We're going to exhale to curl and lift. And inhale to lower. Exhale, curl and lift and inhale lower. Guys, you're doing an excellent job now. Make sure that there's no downward pressure through this hand on the mat. You really want to focus on using the top side of your waist. Good. Squeeze your legs together and reach through your toes. Just like that. Excellent, guys. Use your breath. It really helps with this one. So it's an exhale to lift and an inhale to lower. Beautiful. Doing really well here. If you do start to feel any tension or pain through the neck, you can continue doing this movement with just your legs and your hand. Continuing to focus on that squeeze through the top side of your waist. Lifting your legs as high as you can and squeezing through there. Perfect job, guys. We haven't got long to go with this exercise. Shoulders down the back, abs from no movement through the hips. Doing really well. Use your breath. Exhale to curl and lift. And inhale to lower. Exhale, curl and reach towards that top knee. You've got it. Hold at the top. We only have one exercise on this side, working the waist. Right, there's the 20 second mark. Top leg still and high. We're going to beat that underneath leg all the way up to the top leg. So we're including a little bit of inner thigh here, as well as our waist. Reach towards that knee and breathe at your own pace. Fantastic, guys. Well done. We're going to roll over to the other side and now work the glutes. This exercise is called clam kick out on the elbow. Place the elbow underneath the shoulder and the feet are going to be stacked in line with your hips and your shoulders. Knees bent. Place your hand on your top hip. Gonna squeeze the heels together, lift the top knee on an inhale breath. Exhale, extend that top leg out straight in line with the rest of your body. Inhale, return the heels. Exhale, lower the knee. 
So inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Inhale, close the heels. And exhale, lower the knee. Good. Off to a great start, guys. Doing really well. Make sure that you're keeping your hips stacked and your body lifted. We don't want any sinking or sagging through if you are up on your elbow. If you find this position uncomfortable for your shoulder or your neck, you can simply lie your body back down and continue on with this leg movement. You're still going to be feeling the glutes work just as hard. All right, let's come back up onto the elbow because this works a little bit through your shoulder stabilizers. So bonus. Good guys, you're doing really well. If you want to make this harder, squeeze your heels harder when you lift the knee and extend your leg higher and hold it up. Just like that, doing well. Or to make this a little bit easier, do small little baby plan kickouts. Beautiful. Well done, team. Shoulders down and back. Continue moving that leg. Try not to let it rest completely. Right, we have not got long, guys. Continue to move that leg. Lift the waist. Shoulders down and back. Excellent job. Let's make this next one the last plan kick out. Extend through the legs, reach, and lower the leg. We're going to stay on this side and circle the top leg, still working this top buttock. So extend that leg out long and start circling. We're going to inhale for a few circles and exhale for a few circles. Excellent job. Well done, guys. This bottom should be starting to burn up now. And that's a fantastic feeling. That means that you're working really hard and you're going to get the results that you're after. Perfect. Continue to stretch that leg, reaching through the toes, lifting the waist, hips stay stacked. If you are starting to feel tension that's not muscular through your shoulder or your neck, you can extend your top arm out long, rest your head on your bicep, but continue to circle this top leg. It's all about the glute out, so let's not allow it to rest at any point. If you are tempted to rest at all, just do smaller little baby circles down low. But guys, as this is a whole body workout and it's express, there's not many exercises on each body part. So it means you can work really hard, maximize your time, get that leg up a little bit higher, reach through the toe, and use that top bottom cheek. Good guys. We're coming into winter now, we are in winter, so we want to look good in those skinny jeans. Make those glutes work really hard. So stretch through the toe, keep that knee nice and straight, and lift that leg up for the remaining few pulses. Now let's try and circle the other way. Trick your bottom into thinking we've stopped. That's the way guys, less than 20 seconds to go. Don't stop just yet. Take your mind off that muscle discomfort. Lift that leg a little bit high. You have not got long. Good team. Keep circling. Keep stretching that leg and pointing that toe. And rest. Woo! Let's swap on over and repeat those exercises on the other side. So we're going to come down onto the elbow. Elbow is directly under the shoulder. Top hand on your hip. And your body in a straight line. Your knees bent and your heels stacked together. So we're going to inhale. As we squeeze the heels together and lift that knee, exhale, extend the leg out long, inhale, return the heels, and exhale, lower the knee. Good guys, you're doing so well. Second side is always a little bit more challenging because that bottom cheek has already worked to stabilize you on the first side. So the good thing is it's nice and warm when it's ready to work hard. Good guys, let's keep this movement going. Breathing here, so it's a big exhale breath. Extend that leg out nice and long. Inhale, return the heels and squeeze them hard. And exhale, lower the knee. Good. Excellent job. Focus on keeping your hips nice and stacked, especially as you extend that top leg. Don't allow the hip to roll back with the leg. That's better. Nice job, guys. Doing so well. Squeeze the heels. Extend through the leg, reaching through the toes. Squeeze the heels back together. Knees pointing to the ceiling, and then lower that knee down to the bottom knee. Perfect, guys. Excellent work. Let's not forget about the upper body here. So shoulders down and back, chest open, and waist lifted away from the mat. Good. Well done. Hips want to stay stacked, so 
So your abdominal muscles have to stay on nice and strong. That's the way. Really squeezing that top bottom cheek to extend out long through that leg. It's really starting to burn now, but we haven't got long. Less than 10 seconds. So let's get one more plank kick out in, guys. You're doing so well. Don't stop yet. Last one. And rest. All right, let's extend that top leg out straight and start circling the leg. Good, guys. So just inhale for a few circles and exhale for a few circles. Breathing at your own pace here. Push through that muscle discomfort. That's all it is. Good. Lifting that underneath side of your waist. Using your abs to keep your hips still. The only thing that's working here to move this leg is your bottom. So let's really target those muscles. Let's lift that leg up a little bit higher. Continue to reach through the toes. Straighten that top leg. If you are able tempted to rest, just do smaller little baby circles down low, but try not to let that leg completely rest. Continue to lift it up nice and high. Squeeze through that bottom and really work it hard. Guys, you're doing so well. This is the final glute exercise of today's workout. So let's make it count. Shoulders down and back, abs strong, waist lifted, circling the leg round and around. Good. Now let's reverse that direction. That's it. Doing well, guys. Keep that leg up as high as you possibly can. I know it burns. I'm feeling this too. We're in this together. Push through. Take your mind off what you're feeling in your leg. Think about the results. It'll certainly be worth it and you'll feel fantastic after this workout. Alright, here we go. 20 seconds remaining. Let's circle a little bit higher. Let's make every second count. You've got this, guys. We can do it. Here's 10 seconds. Let's get nice and high with that leg. Keep the waist lifted. Keep the knee stretched. Shoulders down and back. Woo! Last circle. And rest. Excellent work with those glutes, guys. We're going to come over onto our back now and work the hamstrings with pelvic curl. So lying down on your back, relax the hands beside your body. Your heels are going to be placed onto the floor, hip width apart. T-zone time. And we're going to tuck the pelvis, roll up, starting with your tailbone, then the lower back, middle back, up onto your shoulder blades. Hold here. And then roll back down vertebrae by vertebrae. Last thing to touch is your tailbone. Let's do the same thing again. So inhale, T-zone. Exhale, all the way, rolling all the way up. Inhale, hold at the top there. Tuck that pelvis under a little bit harder. And then exhale as you roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Good, guys. Making sure that you're really getting that tuck, especially at the top of your pelvic curl. That'll make sure that your back doesn't arch and that your hamstrings and your glutes work really hard throughout this entire movement. Excellent work. Rippling and articulating through each and every one of your vertebrae. Hold at the top, tuck that pelvis under harder. You'll feel that immediately work the hamstrings. Such a great exercise. Let's make sure that we're digging through the heels of our feet here and not pushing down through our arms. Well done. Big tuck, big ripple all the way up, as high as you can without the stomach bulging or the back arching. So just go as high as you can, tuck that pelvis under and feel it work a little hard through the back of your legs into your hamstrings. All right, guys, we only have 10 seconds remaining of this exercise. So let's make sure we're relaxing the shoulders down and back and we're really working the back of our legs. Last curl. Tuck and roll down. We have one more in this series, pelvic curl openings. So similar start to the movement, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae. Let's hold at the top here. Exhale to open the knees without lowering the hips and inhale to close the knees. Exhale, open and inhale, close. Good, guys. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Now the hamstrings are already worked and they're a little bit fatigued. So try and push through here, guys, and work them as hard as you can. If you start to feel any discomfort at all through your back or anywhere else other than your glutes and your hamstrings, 
Come back down, reset, T-zone heart, roll up, and continue on with the movement. That's the way, guys. Let's keep the hips lifted as we open those knees out as wide as you can. Don't allow your body to sink. Doing really well here. Relaxing through the shoulders and the neck. And no downward pressure through the arms. So if you are all tempted, take your arms out of the equation and lift them up towards the ceiling just like this. You'll feel that immediately work your hamstrings and your glutes that little bit harder. Good guys. Let's continue to tuck through that pelvis, really working your hamstrings and your glutes nice and hard. They should be burning now, absolutely on fire. We are doing so well. Push through that discomfort, knowing this is the last exercise, working your hamstrings and your glutes. Excellent guys, hips lifted high, bottom squeezed, hamstrings working, digging through the heels of your feet. We have 10 seconds remaining. Let's lift up, try not to rest, push through right to the very last second. Well done guys, relax through those shoulders, let's get two more openings. And last one, and roll back down and rest. Woo, fantastic guys. Let's roll over onto our stomach to work our triceps and our shoulder blade muscles with flight. So you're gonna extend the legs out long, relaxing them behind you. The hands and the arms are gonna relax beside your body as well. You're gonna inhale T-zone and raise the arms just up off the mat beside your body. You're gonna exhale and start to rotate your palms up and down. So inhale for a few rotations and exhale for a few rotations. Just like this, guys. Excellent work. Now, if you can't lift your upper body off the mat, that's okay, you can place your forehead down on the mat and just continue to move your arms like so. That's it. Get the big tuck of that pelvis so that you've got a little gap between your waist or your stomach and the mat and your back is staying protected. All right, guys, let's make sure we're really getting a big rotation through our arms and not just rotating up our hands up and back. No spirit fingers, we're not in jazz class. Big rotation of the entire arm, moving from the shoulder. That's the way. This is one of those deceiving exercises where it looks so simple, but it works so well. Excellent, guys. Big rotations. So reaching the fingertips right down towards the toes, keeping our arms straight and as close to the side body as we can. Well done. Now let's tuck that pelvis under a little bit more, squeeze the glutes, abs on strong. We haven't got long, just 10 seconds remaining, guys. Don't rest those arms, I know it's so tempting, I'm feeling this burn too, but we have not got long. So three, two, one, woo, well done. We're gonna come up onto our hands and knees now into a plank position. So hands are directly under the shoulders, we're going to move our knees a little bit further back and tuck our toes under. Lift up into this position here. We're going to inhale, T-zone, and exhale. Tuck that pubic bone up towards your belly button and hold. Inhale, T-zone, and exhale, tuck. Good. So we're just going to continue holding this plank position here. This is a nice challenging one for your abs and your shoulder blade muscles. Excellent work. Now, if you find this position uncomfortable for your wrists or your shoulders, simply bend your knees, place them back on the mat, and bring your body weight forward so you're really working your arms and your abs. But let's try and tuck the toes under and lift the knees up off that mat. You can do it, you're strong, you're capable. We're in this together. Using your breath, inhale, T-zone, exhale, tuck. Excellent work, guys. Make sure we're not lifting our bottom up towards the ceiling or sagging our hips through. So you want to keep your body in one straight line here. Shoulders stay down and back. Elbows stay unlocked. And lift that mid back up to meet your shoulder blades. Doing so well, guys. Breathe here. Inhale, T-zone. Exhale, tuck. Well done. You're so close to the end of this plank, guys. Don't rest those knees down. You've got it. Stay strong. Well done. All right, here's 20 second mark. Let's 
finish this plank with a finish up. So we're going to add in some um, oblique knee stretches. So you're going to bring that knee up towards the opposite hand. Good way to finish with some mountain climbers, guys. You've got this, like get that heart rate up as well. Good, pick up that pace for three, two, one, and rest. Well done, guys. We're gonna go into some thigh work with hinge. So coming up onto your knees, hip width apart, arms out in front, palms facing in towards each other. T-zone nice and tight. We're gonna inhale, as we bend, bringing our body back, and exhale as we come up again. So inhale, lean back like a falling tree, and exhale, come up. Well done, guys. Big lean, and then exhale, use your breath. This is such a tough exercise for those thighs, but such a fantastic one to tone and sculpt them. Doing really well here. You want to keep your shoulders, your hips and your knees in one straight line as you do this movement. So you really need to work your thighs in both directions, keeping your abs strong and your glutes engaged. Excellent work everyone. Big lean, T-zone hard, and come back up. Well done. Shoulders stay down and back, abs stay strong, glutes stay engaged. Use your thighs. Excellent work. We don't want to see any sinking back this way or any arching through the back or doming through the belly. So you really need to use your thighs here. Excellent work. Good. Keep your arms out in front. Lean the body back like a falling tree. One straight line. Good. Right, we only have 20 seconds remaining of this exercise. So let's make the last few count. Use your breath. Inhale, lean. Add strong. Thighs engage. And exhale, come back up. Very last one, guys. Let's go back as far as you can. Inhale, lean. And exhale, raise. Well done, guys. We've got one final exercise today. We're going into some squats. So standing up, feet a little bit wider than your hips. Hands can be on your hips or out in front. We're going to bend through the knees and then stand back up. Good. Big bend and stand. Good, guys. Making sure that we're breaking from our hips, bowing backwards, and then powering up through our heels. Well done. Excellent work, guys. You're doing so well here. This is the final exercise of your program, so let's make every second count. Make sure the knees aren't going past the toes. And they want to be tracking in line with your second and third toe. If we bring our body weight too far forward, the thighs take over and the glutes won't get as much work as they should. So break from the hips and the bottom right back behind you and then stand up nice and straight. Good team, doing really well here. We're on the final minute of your program. Let's get down a little bit lower. Let's hold this position strong and stand up. Fantastic. Well done, guys. Breathe. Inhale, bend, and exhale, power up. Make sure the arches of your feet are lifted, the knees aren't rolling in. We want to keep our knees tracking in line with our second and third toe. Get down as low as you can. Let's work the thighs and the glutes here. Guys, you're doing so well. Push through that muscle discomfort. All right, 20 seconds remaining. Let's get down in that squat and pulse it out. You've got this, guys. We're so close to the end of the program. Push through that discomfort. That's all it is. No one rests. We have less than 10 seconds, guys. Push through. Three, two, one. Woo! What a program, guys. You are all done. Thank you so much for tuning in today and working so hard. I hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you in the next workout.